Hello fierce loves, this is my Pandora wedding gifts and haul video. These are sneak peeks of the photos taken before and during the wedding. And that's me, I did my own makeup. And this is the lovely wedding gown. On this video, I am going to share to you all the Pandora wedding gifts that I received. And some of them are from my guests, from my bridesmaids, and most of them are my Pandora wedding haul before the wedding which I used on the wedding day. And thank you so much to everybody who send their best wishes and congratulations thank you and i love you all starting off with a pandora gift from the gorgeous miss sophia the manager of the pandora concept store here in gothenburg sweden she is my guest on the wedding and she gifted me this wildflower meadow drop earrings from the pandora rose collection with pink mixed stones it has crystals and cubic zirconia, and it's just so beautiful. Cascading floral embellishment set with tonal pink stones. Catch the light as I move on the pair of statement earrings in a pink-hued Pandora Rose metal blend. These gorgeous earrings are part of the Pandora Spring 2018 collection. When I saw it on the catalog, I knew that it's so, so, so gorgeous. And when I saw it in real life on the concept store, I fell in love with it. And I never knew that I will be able to own one. And thanks to Miss Sophia for this very lovely gift. And this has a sentimental value for me. I really love the detail of it, the front, the back, and um, the cap. It's just so, so stunning, all of it. I really am so thankful that I have this as a gift. And soon I'll be wearing this a lot more. This next item that I am going to share to you is part of my Pandora pre-wedding haul. And I wore this item on the wedding day so without further ado this is the pandora my sweet princess clear cz and natural pearl it's sterling silver with pink mixed stones this pandora my sweet princess earring dangle has a rose colored freshwater cultured pearl and clear cubic zirconia I fell in love with this when I saw this on the jewelry store in Karlskrona, Sweden. And I knew that it is simple yet elegant and I felt like the pearl symbolizes wedding. And so I wore this on my ears on that very special day. So I'm just going to show you the hallmark. It's right over there it has s925 ale engraved i hope you can see that let me try to focus and it's right there i have the matching single stud earring and also the pandora my princess tiara ring I have that too and I really really love it. So now I have the complete collection of the Maya Princess line of Pandora. I chose these earrings as it represents me a lot. My two names are derived from the Queen Elizabeth and Princess Diana. And my last name in Swedish is the Swedish term for crown and so that's why i love crowns and collect the pandora crowns that i could let me know what you think about these earrings if you find it lovely as well and if you have the same one let me know or 
tag me on your Instagram post. Remember, my Instagram is at Fearsai Collections. Moving on to another Pandora pre-wedding haul, and I am just so lucky and happy to found this very lovely piece. I don't usually see this even on Instagram, and this is no other than the Pandora silver 14k gold with black onyx and orange moonstone drew on flower spring or for short it's the Jew drops black onyx and orange moonstone ring with 14k gold oh, that's not short either it has a really long name and I really admire this box look at this old box wow I like how this one is made as compared to the new Pandora boxes that I have. I hope Pandora will have these boxes again. <laughs> and let's go back to this lovely, lovely ring. I am so in love with this Moonstone Flower Cluster ring. It's crafted from sterling silver with 14k gold. And that orange moonstone is just so unique. The black onyx may be little, but I still really, really appreciate it. And the melanite stone is really beautiful. And there's some tiny 14k gold in there on the middle of the petals. And it's just such a lovely one. This is part of the Pandora Stories collection. So let me go ahead and show you the hallmark for this ring and it's right there and since it's a um, pre-2012 ring and that's the 925 ALE mark right there. And this is how it looks when I wear it on my index finger. It's just so pretty and I wore this on the wedding day really really lovely petals I am so into the Pandora vintage collections I wish I could have more another ring that I bought before the wedding is this one and this is the pearlescent hearts of Pandora band ring so i bought this from samika in frulunda torg and uh, let me show you a video click that i took before i took this one and here i am showing the details of the ring it is made of sterling silver with a pearlescent enamel and cubic zirconia so that was the price 749 swedish krona and it's in size 52 or store like 54 and i just i'm so in love with the details of this ring i have the other hearts of pandora rings as you know i'm collecting those colorful ones but this one is more on the wedding symbol side look at that those a pearlescent white enamel or that pearlescent white enamel it's just so lovely and the hearts here the open heart it's just so lovely and i really like that it's surrounded with a cubic zirconia too and this is me wearing this Pearlescent Hearts of Pandora Band Ring. One more Pandora ring that I bought from Smeega at Fruluna Torg is this one. And this is called the Pandora Eternity Ring in Black Crystal. I am just so surprised about this ring and I'm really happy and lucky that I have it. And I'm going to go ahead and show you close-ups. This ring is 
so lovely with the black crystals it's perfect for stacking and uh, it has this jet black zirconia ring by Pandora set in heavenly silver mount and finished beautifully with delicate etched leaf detailing so it's in size 54 and this gorgeous ring is sure to capture your heart and update my ring stack instantly so i'm going to wear this with my other pandora black rings and this is just a closer look of the details of this ring this ring also comes in white purple and i think also yellow gold crystals so hopefully i can collect them all someday i just really love this ring and that's the hallmark this s925 ale without the size and this is how it looks when i wear it on my index finger this one is filmed before this clip that's why it's on a different background As you all know, I just started my Pandora collection in 2017 and finding Pandora items before that time is like treasure for me. And this vintage Pandora item is such a lucky find for me. This is the hoops for these earrings. And I'm going to tell you more about this. But let me tell you the name of these earrings first. It is a hard time for me to find the item number and the name for this one. Because the one that is listed on the pouch is lacking one number. So when I search it on the internet, it is difficult for me. However, I will tell you about it after I show you this box. Let's just take a moment to appreciate it as well. This um, bigger older pandora box is so nice as well still white inside with uh, that um lining of i don't know what that color is like maroon velvet ish and let's go ahead and open this composed earring charm and this is called the pandora flower charm with 14k gold and pink cubic zirconia look at that detail it's just so stunning and i'm just really happy and lucky to have it and look at that detailing on the back i just really love the old vintage pandora and i wish that they make some more or i hope that i could find some more so let me show you how to Put this on the hoops to create our composed earrings. Just insert it like so, and it will be hanging and dangling like that. I really love the 14k gold in the middle of the flower there, so let's just also put this together on the other side. Yes, just make sure that you put the hoop and click it or um, insert it on the back of this flower charm or the composed earring charm and then there you go. That's the earrings and this is so 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 lovely. I've been wearing this a lot lately but you know me if I haven't made a video yet of the pandora items i don't show it so much on social media and now that i'll be able to upload this i can go ahead and wear it some more and you will see this more on my future videos let me know what you think about these earrings and if you have the same one that would be so 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 nice these next items are gifts from marcella roaring which is a primary sponsor or guest on the wedding day and she actually gave me a budget to buy pandora items we went to the store that has 70 percent off 
and I picked up these three things. So let me show you what I picked. Ta da! So there's three charms in here two that represents me and the one that is way too early for christmas but i just cannot stop myself from buying it but i am going to tell you more about them one by one starting off with this first charm here this first item represents me a lot because this is the taurus storm sign charm from pandora and it's made of sterling silver and it has a lot of sides these sides have taurus that are mirrored up and down and then in the middle is has an engraving in there and this is the bowl so these are the details on this lovely charm and I really like that it has star open work in there. It really indeed represents the star sign. And you know how much I love stars. That's the bull again. Here's another close up. And if you were born from, I believe that was like April 21 to May 20 or 21 as well. Something like that. This is the logo for Taurus the one that you see earlier this is the hallmark for this one it has P2 S925 ALE and it's just so gorgeous I really like that it has a lot of details on it once again this is the sign and this is so so lovely and the hearts i fell in love with them i always wanted to have it i'm just lucky now to go ahead and grab it on 70 percent off the next item here is this one which is the christmas charm i have been wanting this for so long to add it on my christmas charms for my christmas bracelet that you will see quite soon this is no other than the Holiday Wreath Dangle Charm, Berry Red and Green Enamel. It's made of sterling silver and red and green enamel. It's a very hefty one too. It has the weight on it. I love the detailing on the back as well. It's just so gorgeous. Here's the hallmark. S925 ALE and I just cannot wait to go ahead and add this to my Christmas charm collection so that you can see my Christmas bracelet very soon and last but not the least that really represents me is this vintage alphabet or the vintage e charm from pandora it's an elegant sterling silver alphabet charm with a capital letter e here's the hallmark you saw that s925 alien there and this is the featured letter e in a vintage inspired font highlighted with cubic zirconia stones and look at that open work it's just so vintage so you will see this on my persona bracelet soon i'm coming up with that which um has a collection of charms that represents me and that's all for the gifts that i received from my guest, Miss Marzella Roaring. Thank you so much for this mercy. This next one is the most unforgettable item that I bought as post wedding Pandora haul. And this is just so special. And uh, my friend Aryan, who flew all the way from the Philippines to Sweden for the wedding as my bridesmaid gave me a budget to get a Pandora item that I wanted. 
I saw this one on a jewelry store that doesn't carry Pandora anymore but sells the old vintage ones that they have. And this is no other than... Yes, it is a Pandora time bead charm. And I really love this one. Look at that Pandora engraved on the side. And inside it has a very nice detail and a tiny diamond in there. It's just so, so lovely. And uh, this box that it came with is so different from the other ones that I showed to you earlier. As you see, it's made from a very nice material. It's not just a spongy material. So, it looks like so. And then, this is the time charm. So, I will tell you more about the time charm. It's a collaboration between Pandora and Time Beads and they only produced a limited item or limited number of um, these Time Charms in 2009. There were about 22 designs in total and they're only released on selected European countries and luckily we have it on Sweden since Denmark is just a neighbor. This is how I open it. I use this um, clasp opener They were actually unfortunately discontinued after 2010 when Pandora made their own watches So this time charms Came before the Pandora watches which is way earlier or way before the time that I started with Pandora so me finding these treasures makes me really really happy and lucky and this is the side of this time charm the price for this one when it was first released was 145 euros or about 1450 swedish krona if i'm not mistaken and um, this is part of the next batch that uh, came out and um, this one has a mother of pearl face and a little inset diamond I wish I could buy some more of these they're just so 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 lovely if you wanted to see a video of this time charm on your bracelet or if you want me to make a design bracelet out of it let me know on the comment section and i would gladly do so on my next video to show you how it looks yes and if you have the same one please let me know too and it will be nice to talk about our time charms from pandora and i really am happy to have a limited edition item like this And last but definitely not the least is a very, very thoughtful gift from my friend Emily of Fashion Storyteller here on YouTube. And we met through our love for Pandora items and jewelries. And we make a lot of collaboration videos too. She sent this wedding card all the way from Canada to Sweden. And I am so excited to share this to you all. And I will read her card on this video. Thank you so much once again to Emily for sending me this. You have put a lot of effort and I'm so, so, so happy. This is the front of the card and let's read. It says, our wedding wishes for a beautiful marriage. A marriage brings happiness knowing that from the day forward or this day forward, you have a partner to all you do. A marriage brings new meanings to the friendship that first brought you together and will continue to grow. 
I appreciate this a very nice lace floral details on the side with glitters. And this is the front part of the card or inside part of the card rather. Let me read this. A marriage brings a deeper understanding of your love and the promise of a beautiful future. She said, Dear Elizabeth and husband, wishing you a lifetime of happiness, joy, laughter, and love. You're officially. We wish you every happiness as you begin your married life. Husband and wife, so happy to have met you. And I'm very blessed to call you a friend. One day I hope we have the opportunity to meet in person and I can give you a real hug. Let's of love, Emily and Snowman, aka my husband. Thank you so much, Emily and husband, for this very lovely gift. This is the highlight of this video. That's why I put it on the very last. And I'm just really so happy and excited for this one. Thank you so much. It's just a very thoughtful gift. And I really love cards. I collect greeting cards and um, occasionally cards or occasion special occasions cards that send to me all over the world. And this is something that I would really, really cherish. Thank you so much. And I'm going to show you a close-up as i always do of all the items that i have shown on this video this is the bracelet that i wore on the wedding day but i plan to share that to you on a separate video and that's the meadow earrings the my princess earrings the two drop ring with 14k and the um, orange moonstone and this one is the flower earring for the compost. The Hearts of Pandora band. The three charms from Mercy. My Pandora time charm that I'm so excited about. The Eternity ring. And that's all. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. I hope that you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming this and sharing it to you. If you want to see more videos, let me know in the comments section. Follow me on Instagram. It's at Fearsci Collections and Facebook at Fearsci.